Welcome on board Grand Central Railway. British owned and totally independent, this is the country's most unique train line. Grand Central is a unique um, train line to Britain, and part, you know, more importantly, a unique train line to the, um, the north um, of England. We run 14 trains daily from um, 6 in the morning to 2300 at night. Good morning, welcome on board the old 645 Grand Central service to London, King's Cross. I got up at 5.30, come to work, make sure I'm nice and smart, meet the crew, then I know who I'm working with. Obviously dispatching the train with the senior guard at each station, so just checking tickets, helping the guys out on cable. Like a rich full on the morning, everyone has to put coffee in there, set them up. Team spirit. Have you combed your hair this morning, you man? Yeah. Good. Got to be perfect every morning, you never know you'll meet. Same to have to get their priorities right. Coffee for the driver, I'll be so. There's no worse than a sulking driver. Grand Central's 125 members of staff are more like a family. Employed for their personality and passion, they each treat the company as if it's their own. Grand Central is a family company and our staff treat it as a family company to work for. Everything that goes wrong, whether it's something with a train, finances, passengers, that affects us as individuals, not just the company. We're not reading it on a piece of paper. How many directors out there will get down and roll the sleeves up and fix a train in the best three piece suit? Grand Central like to do things a little bit different. We've got the, um, the Halloween train, or the ghost train as we call it, and we'll go to an exciting venue with that. And there's lots of exciting sort of things coming up in the build up to Christmas, including um, working closely with our suppliers, so there'll be a few tasty treats in store. This series is an exclusive look of the overall running of a British railway line from inside the boardroom. You know, I truly believe with anyone that you, you recruit, that you should recruit on attitude and not on skill. And that's what it's about. We want people to be very personable, approachable, individual. You want to make sure passengers are happy. It's like I got on the train earlier and one of the coaches on the middle train, the air conditioning was broke. So straight away, it wasn't my job. It was in coach D on the middle set, the 1022 from Bradford. I give them more water. No, I didn't have to do that, but all it takes is one person. Every dedicated member of staff is aiming for the top spot. I wouldn't do any other job in this world. I drive a nice sports car, I have a motorbike in my spare time, and I drive a train for a living. What more does a lad want? My ambition would be to be a train driver. This is it, this is what I've done. I don't know anything outside the railway. I've heard nasty things that you've got to work and stuff. It's <laughs> not my idea of fun. No, I'm quite happy where I am, thank you. <laughs> oh dear. Should get back. Seems we sit outside Wakefield for 10 minutes. Thank you, Network Rail timetable planning. Grand Central are not only at the mercy of Network Rail, but they're at the mercy of passengers who needlessly pull emergency cords. Yeah, the driver's just speaking to the signal. Somebody pulled a communication cord, which is um, you're only supposed to use it in emergency and we lost all power. The driver's just trying to rectify the fault now and it looks like he has done because we've got power so we should be on the move shortly. I'm going to get noisy now. <laughs> so, see, boiled dream, I've got a big hole. I mean, rephrase that, train hole. Sorry. <laughs> 